All right, if you're seeing this, then this video is now unlisted, but I'm going to link it below because I know that now that it's unlisted, it's the most interesting thing in the world, but it was a swiftly made video focused solely on the perks back before I included gameplay, and I really feel like the Gravedigger is worth a second look because seeing how this weapon performs and me proving it to you today that this weapon is actually not as bad as everybody thinks, uh, I want to get into it. So the Gravedigger, oh my goodness, one of my favorite weapons of all time. I think this is one of the first weapons I ever maxed out and as you can see it still performs really really well i've got my standard ar loadout on here standard perks we'll get to that in a little bit here but the gravedigger actually performs on par with like the number 10 slot in my top 10 weapons list and if by chance you haven't actually seen that list obviously to be linked below but my point in that video is that the top 10 weapons like that number 10 spot is still better than like 90 percent of the other weapons in the game and i do believe that the gravedigger is firmly in that sort of position where it is a really good weapon it'll work in the one 40 zones it'll fall off a bit in the 144 players you're probably better off using a more specialized weapon a higher damage output weapon like the silent specter or the thrasher or something along those lines you know the nocturno maybe not the siege breaker even though it's the same damage as the nocturno the nocturno has that special six perk which brings me to another point i'm going to show the perks here real quick just because this is what i'm running we'll get into what you should be using in different situations depending on how you want to play but i want to talk about affliction real quick because the gravedigger was introduced a while back when it was very very new for weapons to do affliction damage the whole idea obviously is that it would be locked to fire and that it would burn enemies alive you know whatever but I don't know if you could have always changed the element, but you definitely can nowadays, and it doesn't really make sense for a water gravedigger to even exist. I'm not really sure why they allowed you to change the element at all. And that makes me further confused, considering that we have the causes of affliction damage. I feel like, personally speaking, from my point of view on this game, the gravedigger should be a lot like the dragon AR. I didn't actually set this aside, so it might take me a second to find it here, but the dragon's roar is a weapon that actually causes affliction damage by default. You actually don't need affliction here this on kill roman candle thing doesn't matter it will still make them you know set on fire as it says in the description that's what i was looking for is that it, it will burn enemies alive that's kind of what a dragon firework weapon should do and i feel like the gravedigger is kind of deserving of a special six perk i know that's not a founder's weapon i know that they've never really done this for any weapon that i'm aware of that i can think of off the top of my head at least but giving this special weapon a special six perk would make sense because this was their Halloween weapon. You can see just by looking at it, this is essentially the normal Breacher AR, you know, before you turn it into a Siege Breaker. And it's got this whole special aesthetic that really makes it special. And it, it really makes people think that it's a, a mythical weapon. And I don't literally mean like the rarity mythical. I mean like the players covet this weapon. If you've ever been to Stonewood, you have heard the term Gravedigger. If you have played this game for zero minutes and talked to any other player, you know what the Gravedigger is. And that's because it has this, you know, this aura in the community. And I feel like a special six perk would make this weapon just stand out that little bit more. As for the performance of the weapon, though, I just want to touch on it again that it is is doing very decent damage it, it works really really well it is a lower accuracy lower fire rate higher single damage output meaning like the per bullet damage is actually quite high and the headshot multiplier is pretty good so if you're going to be using this weapon stand still for the best accuracy and aim for the head that'll definitely be your best bang for the buck as for the perks let's talk about it Fire is the only way you're going to want to go on this because it's a grave digger, and if you if you make it water, I will delete you. It's just, it, you can't, okay? You can't, it's a Halloween weapon. You can't make it water. <clears throat> Although, you know, mathematically speaking, it doesn't really matter what the element is. It's, it just depends on what you're shooting at. But beyond that, the perks are a whole different topic. So the new six perks have given you a couple of options. Headshot eliminations cause an explosion is cool, I guess. That's it. That is some nice extra area of effect damage. I would never recommend a core reperk on that, but it's a thing that exists. I would recommend, if you really like this weapon, considering a Cory perk on the shots fired grants extra damage. I will say it right now that that's not really as special as it sounds, because to select this six perk, it kind of ties into why I think this weapon should have a special perk, uh, you will be removing your causes affliction, henceforth, you know, giving up your 45% bonus damage. Now that 45% is deceiving because it's 45% after the first shot, so you hit them once for normal damage, and then every shot after is that 45% bonus, which isn't technically actually 45 
25%, but we are not getting into that today. It's actually a little bit less, but whatever, whatever. If you do like the damage to miss monsters of bosses, you'll definitely have significantly, you know, more damage to miss monsters because you'll have 36% instead of 45, which is less, but you'll have the added damage from ramping up your damage just by shooting the weapon. So that is nice to have. I will note for anybody curious that this weapon will stack up to 15 shots, just like this is kind of how the perk works for everything. We tested it by shooting at a tree, and that's the best representation we could find, but you can see this pain train footage. It shoots up to 15. It'll hold that maximum damage. You know, it'll hold that 27% bonus damage up until you stop firing for a full second, and then it'll stop. So if you have this bonus damage, you're basically getting, you know, 27% boost just, you know, so long as you continue firing. So that is nice, but it takes... 15 bullets to stack that damage up so initially your first bullet is basically going to do exactly what the affliction does but it's just going to take a lot longer for it to get there so my point in all of this if math isn't your thing and a lot of that went over your head if you're shooting at like normal baby zombies that die in four or five shots anyway it's an irrelevant discussion and it doesn't really matter what you do if you're shooting a husky husk or a mist monster that depends so like the husky husk won't have that damage to mist monsters and this perk will be dead it will not be helping you in any way so that bonus damage will would essentially equal out to be affliction i think it's a little bit more damage if you're later on in your magazine but typically the enemy you're shooting at is going to be dead if you're shooting a smasher or a mist monster that is where it benefits the most because you're going to get that 36 percent on every single shot which is great and you'll be ramping up your damage with sustained fire so it is significantly better against mist monsters and mini bosses to have that you know new six perk so that could be really really good in the 144 players the 164 players stuff like that but if you're using this weapon generally, it's actually still, even against Miss Monsters, not that much less damage to just do the typical damage to Affliction. So that's a really, really roundabout way of me suggesting you to just keep this weapon how it is. But I really want to give you guys the full story and tell you that if you use a core reperk on this, you're not wasting it. Obviously, as I'm recording this, we've had very, very few core reperks introduced to the game. I believe only three. I could be wrong. And obviously in the future, you might have more. As always, I will pin a comment should any of the information in this video change. But it is more or less recommended to just keep the Affliction. As for the perks, it's kind of the same thing as my old video that I'm going to unlist. And that's that fire rate and damage is going to be the exact same, you know, DPS, you know, damage per second, but it's uh, a lot more bullets to achieve what crit rating crit damage was kind of already doing. And if, it's my understanding that the weapon comes as is anyway, save for the reload perk, which I always sort of prefer. You can get more damage per bullet if you put on a damage perk here, but you're going to spend a lot longer reloading. And I feel like it's a lot better to just get right back into the fight. If you actually calculate the amount of damage you're outputting, including the time spent reloading, it is a higher damage output to just reload faster and get right back into the fight. And that's also my personal play style. It's also nice to say that you don't really need a mag size perk because unlike normal weapons, the Gravedigger has a base 40 mag size instead of 25 or 30. So it's not much, but hey, 10 free bullets that they're just giving you just cause. And couple that with a fairly slow fire rate of 7.2, you're actually firing for a really decent amount of time and you're probably not going to have too much issue regarding needing a mag size or anything like that. Obviously, as I mentioned, if you have that six perk down there, you want to have the damage to miss monsters and bosses. And then there's one more caveat. Well, I guess there's a couple things I could mention. I mean, there are a couple of combo perks here. So if you want double mag size just to be a goof, you, you could do that, whatever. You could put double mag size reload. That would be terrible for damage output, but really fun if you're just screwing around. Or you could put double reload again, just to be a goof. I never recommend that, but you know, it exists, you could do it. And of course, as I always say, you could do double crit damage if you're running totally rocking out. Or I got a comment on this recently. I never mention this in most of my videos because I don't like hero specific loadouts. But if you put Sledgehammer in the lead, you know, this guy giving you tons of crit damage, you could just run crit rating and fire rate up here. Fire rate, crit rating with Sledgehammer in the lead is probably the best way for you to go if you're just going damage output, but I wouldn't mess around with any of that. I highly recommend just keeping it standard. That way you can use this weapon with any loadout. Woo, all right, we did the Gravedigger round two. I hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to use code MISTA at your checkout. I really appreciate it. Happy Halloween, everybody. If you're watching this in the future, then I don't know, say something. If this is July of 2021, leave a comment. I just, I wanna see this comment section light up around July, all right? I see you guys. Uh, Halloween's right around the corner, all right? Three more months 
months. Just hang on. If you guys want to support the channel even further, you know, you can become a channel member here. Use the emotes down in the comments below. Pretty cool way to support me if you want to support me over here on YouTube. If you guys want to follow me on Twitch, my streams are awesome. Links below. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, have a nice day. <laughs> Do 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 do